And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. Well, welcome back into East Texas Live. Andrew, I hear that we're going to have a little bit of a heat increase, and I ain't happy about it. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a brief increase, though. We're not going to be in the 100s for most of us today, but tomorrow and Thursday, we look to see widespread high temperatures in it to the triple digits. Here's a look at Tyler with our Skyview camera. We are seeing bright blue skies with barely a cloud in the sky this morning. Late this morning, we've already made it up to 91 degrees in a Tyler, and if we don't get any clouds pretty soon, we may actually reach the Tri triple digits in uh, the city of Tyler. Dew point right now of 70, so it is a muggy one out there. We look to see the dew points drop a little bit more as we head throughout the day today. Taking a look at live viper radar, a few bubble up showers have developed on uh, the eastern side of Sabine County. That is right along the Toledo Bend uh, Reservoir there. Uh, you may be seeing a few raindrops. Uh, no lightning to be reported yet in this activity, but if you are out near the Toledo Bend area or planning to go, uh, just keep that close eye to the sky. And get inside if you can hear thunder or see lightning. Temperature wise, right now we're in the 80s and low 90s. Currently 91 in Tyler, like we just saw. There are 92 in Jacksonville, so some spots are even warmer. 92 degrees in Henderson as well. Temperatures still hanging on to the low 80s in center at 82. That is by far the coolest spot this morning. Palestine right now coming in at 90. When you factor in the humidity, it feels like it's 100 degrees in Crockett. It feels like 99 in Lufkin and in Hemphill, and it feels like 97 right now in the city of Tyler. Heading into this afternoon, high temperatures will be climbing into the upper 90s for the most part. A few lower 100s certainly cannot be ruled out, especially the further north and west you go across the area. Winds today out of the south at 15 miles per hour. So it will be a bit breezy out there. That will elevate fire weather concern just a bit for us. The normal high right now is 96 degrees, and we are going to be above that heading into Wednesday and Thursday, especially high temperatures returning to the triple digits for most of us. But notice we will start to cool things off heading into the weekend, and that's thanks to increasing rain chances. Despite those rain chances, we still have burn bans in effect across the entire area. Uh, so again, outdoor burning not allowed. Take those fire weather precautions. Uh, make sure to dispose of cigarettes properly and things like that. And this afternoon we'll climb into the upper 90s with a chance for some isolated showers and thunderstorms, mainly into deep east Texas. Otherwise, we're mostly sunny. Uh, we're seeing mostly sunny skies with perhaps a few more clouds in it to the mid afternoon hours. For tonight, we will drop down into the upper 70s. We'll see a few passing clouds through the overnight hours, especially as we head towards daybreak on your Wednesday morning. We'll see winds overnight continue to be out of the south at around 15 miles per hour, so that breeze does look to continue through the overnight hours. Taking a look at your seven day forecast now, again, those highs return to the triple digits Wednesday and Thursday as we continue to stay mostly dry. But notice on Friday, rain chances will increase across the area as high temperatures climb into the upper 90s. So it will be a bit cooler due to the return of those rain chances on our Friday. And we will keep small rain chances in the forecast through Saturday, Sunday, and even into Monday of next week as well, which will keep high temperatures mainly below 100 degrees. For Deep East Texas, it's a similar forecast, although we will continue to see small rain chances today, Wednesday, and Thursday. But then those rain chances increase for Friday and Saturday. Which will knock down the high temperatures into the middle 90s for DB's Texas.